Good afternoon, community. Try something a little different. I almost changed the title of the video to Nat. And if there's enough time, I'll talk about the Nat at the end. I just don't want it to wreck what the video's supposed to be about. Uh, so keep that in the back of your head. So we're talking about the uh, fitness journey. We're talking about the fitness journey on this one. And, you know, uh, I talk many levels. They get, you know, moved around, this, that, or the other. People don't, you know, they can't keep up. I just want you to know that there's many layers to the stuff that I'm just spitting out to you. Paul made a video today talking about, uh, you know, people don't listen promise dude that's a promise like like he, they don't listen to help themselves they don't like like listen like hey do this and you're gonna get fired duh, duh, uh, duh, duh, you're not it's always something else right it's like you're not my friend or you're this or you're being mean or they don't do that over it's always something besides just don't do it just don't do it it's that simple you have a problem you take it somewhere else you know they like you don't even have to have a conversation i'm getting off that i'm getting off that but paul was right paul was right in that comment i just want you to know that i'm talking to different people this is fitness related today the fitness journey i'm talking to mainly everyone but it ain't like towards trolls like you would think a lot of the videos go so let me jump into it so we're all on this journey right we're all going through it uh i don't know you know like i said i'm just thinking out out loud i'm you're going through things. If it's a real journey, right? You know, so, I mean, I guess in the back of my head, I got this orange room guy. And I'm thinking, like, shut up already, right? Shut the, f you ain't doing shit. He ain't doing nothing. The Steve Atlas guy, he ain't doing nothing. There's a lot of people that think they're on a journey or you know, even this, uh, even probably big trips, like, but now I start to get to that middle ground, right? There's a middle ground there. Maybe he is, and I just don't know it. Like I said, the video is not meant to be mean at all. It's just informative, but you're going through, got a good guy, like probably Terry. Terry's probably, uh, you know, going through stuff in a good way. Limit break, Breaker Joseph might be. And then, like, it, and it could be on all levels. Like, I know the Gaines brothers, you know, he could be, uh, he definitely could be one that starts to go to the other side. And, you know, we know there's probably a journey. Oh, Osiris, definitely, definitely Osiris. So I threw out some different names tonight, but still going to be talking about you other guys. And not just, like I said, not just trolls. I just don't want to mention your names tonight. Good guys, bad guys, all the guys. You go through this journey, right? You're going through it. Maybe you set some goals for yourself. You're going through this journey. And you hit it. You hit something, right? Like you, you get to something. Or something gets thrown in your way before you get there. Anyways, the point of it is, it's those moments that define the individual. All right, now, I don't think I was going to give a, a negative example tonight, so I, I told Cephas I was going to put him in this video. And again, I'm putting Cephas in here for multi-layer reasoning. But here's the point. So Cephas... You know, which I think it's known that for whatever reasons, we don't get along, even though I like the dude. I'm not that man. I'm not the little bitch that sits in a 
fucking room and cries every day like that gnat. Again, it sounded like I was talking about Cephas. I was talking about someone else. With Cephas, you know, if, if those things were true that I just said about us, you know, being ooh enemies, right? Which a lot of people want us to be enemies. I'm still coming out and giving this dude the credit. Like, legitimate fucking credit. Like, he goes through his journey. And again, what you think you think I'm talking about is probably not what I'm talking about. But I'm, I'm going I'm to say this because I don't want you to ever... <laughs> I do do shit that's weird. Like, I keep trying to keep people off my tracks. Even though I'm, a lot of times I just shoot straight. But... One of his defining moments was changing that gym that he went to. Uh, I don't know. He was going to a little dinky gym. And I had wrote to him, I think, a couple times or, or hinted or at least, I don't even know. I knew in my mind that if he ended up going to Big Tech's, it was going to change his life either way. Either way, he was either going to walk in there and win, or he was going to walk in there and and run away. I mean, basically, again, like Charlie did, Charlie Weiner went into Metroflex, uh, what, what the fuck is that, Metroflex, what, wherever, I don't even know, like, what if, I'm, I'm kind of confused now, because he said he was working out with C.T. Fletcher. I didn't know C.T. Fletcher had a fucking Metroflex in Las Vegas. Maybe I'm all fucked up at the moment. It doesn't matter. He said he went in there. Said he worked out with all those guys. And, and look at the dude. He, he's pathetic. Like, Charlie Weiner's a pathetic fucking individual. He's gone. Back at home. Working in his fucking garage. Uh, trying to take steroids. Just, just to wipe their... You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's pathetic. So... You never hear the rest of that story from Charlie Weiner. Now, again, I'm talking about fitness, your journey, the main obstacles that hit you, the ones that hit you that define you. So we have, you know, again, and I said something positive about the dude the other day. Now I'm going to say something negative. You know, Shantar. Shantar, uh, you know, even if it was just fitness related journey mixed with the online journey right maybe so maybe it's not just 100 on this one fitness but fitness and online he couldn't deal with it right oh quit, quit my channel bah, I left bah, bah, bah. and he comes back everyone's like oh we're glad you're back right we're glad you're back and then fucking ran again because he couldn't deal with it it defined him it defined him. Do you understand? I don't think you're getting it. It defines you. Like the shit Runner Boy is doing. Ah, that's not. That's. I'm going way too broad into a spectrum now because I I want to keep it narrowed down. I seriously, I'm sorry about that. A lot of this stuff defines you. I just want to make sure I'm capping the video. Because Cephas went through like three things, three main things, if not maybe even a couple more. And he just pushed forward, pushed forward, pushed forward through all of the stuff. I give that motherfucker shit. Like, there's so many videos I don't even say the shit that I want like he pisses me off playing them video games so much he pisses me off you know trying to go viral he pisses me off with this fucking weird shit but he keeps going forward he keeps going forward and wins and you cannot I keep trying to explain that shit to the community you can't take that from someone it's earned I say oh you know 
Look at the little dinky fucking plastic sword. Because the plastic sword don't mean fucking shit. It's a joke. But what he did when he pushed through, I think that's what most people in our community today don't understand. They don't get it. You push through. Like, you don't settle. Now, we heard some videos from him where he's, you know, dealing with this, dealing with that. It is. And that's why I said it defines you. And that's why I needed to use him more tonight to set the stage for that. It defines who you are. You can go up, oh, uh, 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 I go up, uh, I did this. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the Nat in this video. But what what what's going to happen going forward? We already seen what happened on the other two lifts with the Nat. We already seen it. It was de it's it defined who he was. He's pathetic. Like he's pathetic on both ends of the spectrum, not just one. Uh the garage workouts guy. I mean, what what he's old? I don't I don't know his backstory, but what is he's always quitting. Everyone makes fun of him. His buddies make fun of him. Everyone makes fun of him, right? He talks shit, talks shit to me, talks shit about God. Uh, forget about all those things. What's he do? Well, you don't work out. You don't work out. Okay, you don't work out. Uh, I don't even know. There's just so many individuals on here that I'm seeing daily. You know, when that dude, I'm going to say this because I, I need to cut this one, but when that dude dropped that weight on them you know and again you're going through two you're going through two okay AOC I'll just say your name in this video you're going through two moments again they may not be I think one's a good fitness moment and the other one's an online moment so we got you know the two but it's what it is see how you prevail but you're going through two when that guy dropped that weight on himself okay you're pushing forward but you're, you're not you know if you don't want to hear that that's on you but you should be stronger mentally to push forward past that and realize as long as there's safeties there, there's no problem I don't know we'll see what, what you do with that like uh, I'm sorry I didn't give you the, I need to give you the pause no pause video my bad on that one so before you make a determining factor yet on what I'm saying to you let me at least get that I mean I was just totally fucking slipped my mind uh, it's all good hearted though like I said I don't like that old man put you in a mental state that would fuck your fitness journey up but it's gonna happen it could be a friend a family member a stranger it happened and I don't think you took the right path on it. But again, that's just opinion. It's fucking one opinion. Keep pressing, keep going on, and you can prove everyone a different story. But I'm telling you what's being viewed and what's being viewed, a lot of you guys, man. And again, you think I didn't say your name. You say, well, no, he's definitely not talking about me. I am 100% talking about you some of the higher fucking names in this video you got to make the choice that's going to define where you're going in your journey in your fit if you're serious if you're a bullshitter it this video doesn't pertain to you if you're a troll nerd head sucker you know like profit fear this video doesn't pertain to you it doesn't pertain to you, man. You know? It's just what it is. Like, uh, who's that guy? Uh, he, he's always talking about vegan gains. Is, is vegan gains on a fitness journey? I mean, I know fucking vegan gains for a decade or two decades now. And I don't know if I've seen a workout video from that motherfucker. I don't think I have. And that's a bigger channel, ain't it? yeah right so that's the end of the video just think about it going forward if you're serious about your journey 
you know I hope you get everything you want out of it if you get everything you want out of it and you got it and you're happy then you're good I mean I can't take that away from someone either but uh I don't know I guess maybe it's a partial deal here where I'm talking about isn't it really isn't though it's a little bit I'm talking about online where people are seeing shit but I think I'm still real what the hell is that still realistically talking about uh just overall you know your whole journey in fitness can even be in rehab man you know all right i'm gonna get off this one this one got long but uh we'll talk about the gnat in another video